Hi there everybody, this is Doug with Calvert Creative Solutions. So just uh, giving you another update with the TiVo Black Widow 3D printer here. So I've done a couple little modifications here. I chose to replace the hot end. I was getting good results with it, but I've always had the best results with an E3D setup. So you can see I've swapped off the stock hot end for, in this case, an E3D light hot end. And it seems to work very, very well so far. I've, uh, I've done three prints with it so far. It's doing well. Okay, so the next upgrade, I'm going to shut this off so you can hear me a bit better. The next upgrade I've done, let's see, right here, I've 3D printed basically a thumb screw for this, an extended length thumb screw, so that when I want to change the filament out, I can just grab this, loosen this off. This idler will pop away and I can feed down through without having to find an Allen key. I can just do that by hand now. Okay. So the next modification I've done, again, 3D printed, I've made this little collar here. And what it does, second, let me turn some light on for you. What it does here, this little collar sits down on top of the aluminum collar that goes in here. It then allows you to put a Bowden fitting and a Bowden tube on the top of the printer. So what I've done basically, I've put this Bowden tube, so it's still the extruder here, but the Bowden tube comes up over, connects into here. So again, I made a little bracket here. that allows you to mount another Bowden tube here and then that feeds down into the spool holder I designed. Alright, so it's just a basic spool holder, there's no bearings or anything, it's just a uh, half inch aluminum rod here and the filament roll rotates on that without any issues at all. Right? Okay. Right now I've got a bit of a rat's nest because I've got an extra cable here that I'm going to be uh, using as basically the, uh, the MKS board's dedicated fan cable. So right now I've just got that basically coiled around the entire uh, bundle of wires in order to keep them together and keep that one out of the way. Right now it's disconnected, it's not live, so I'm not worried about shorting anything. Okay. And one other modification I've done, this is still a work in progress, you can see in between this plate and the extruder body, I've 3D printed out this spacer block. And what this is going to allow us to do, basically if you look from the front view, the stepper motor right here actually hangs off the right hand side of the carriage. By bumping this entire extruder mechanism out, I've got it uh, 19 millimeters in behind it. This stepper motor has about one mil clearance on the right hand side, right on this bar here. So that allows you to put basically the edge of this plate right up against the side of the axis, which allows a little bit extra travel. Coupled in with that spacer block, you can see some wires running in there. And what I've basically done, on the one side I've made basically a little terminal block that on the left hand side I've got 12 volts and on the right hand side, I'm not sure if you can see that. I have the option for 24 volts. So I've got one of my wires here, I 
this set of wires right here. That's 24 volts straight from the power supply. I've got that running down beside into the bottom of this little terminal block. That terminal block inside has a 12 volt regulator and a small um, heat sink. And that 12 volt regulator gives you 12 volts on one side. There's many ways you can do this. You could do this with a voltage divider, you know, a couple of resistors. Um, I chose to do a 12-volt uh, regulator. I might end up changing it because I have had one issue with overheating so far. That's why I haven't released any of these STLs yet. I'm going to basically do an upgrade pack. Everything you see that I've done so far is going to come in a single uh, STL pack that you can print out for yourself and you'll be able to make this printer even better than it comes stock. Um, one other thing I'm going to include for this pulley right here, I'm going to make a hand wheel that goes on here and catches into one of these set screws so that there's a, say, two inch diameter little knurled knob on here. And I find that very helpful on printing because as you can see, the very first layer sometimes can be a bit tricky to get stuck down. What that allows you to do as your printer comes in to start the first layer, you can manually go up grab that knob up there and you're going to be able to click a few steps left or right in order to actually modify the Z height of this entire gantry up and down just to fine tune to get it to actually stick to the bed. Um, I do have the BL touch on its way but I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to be putting it on this printer or my poor little Prusa over there that's uh, getting near the end of its useful life, so the BL Touch might make it a hair more useful. So just as an example of a part I just got off this machine. So this is an inch and a half tall, this is a part for my business. It's an inch and a half tall, uh, about three quarters of an inch wide and about an inch and a quarter uh, in depth, I guess, this way. And you can see, one second here, try to get it to focus. You can see this printer gives very good results. So at the top edge there, that's actually what I've done to edge break off the, uh, the raft. But you can see right here that the layers on this thing are all pretty much dead on. It printed upwards like this. And you can see the part is pretty much immaculate. There's no real layer marks, no noticeable rippling. Sometimes in this reflection you can see a little bit of a ripple, but in reality if I shut the light off you wouldn't see any of it. And even the top layer you might be able to see here. The top layer has my logo right in it. And again, this hasn't been acid bath this hasn't done anything, no post-processing, other than just run a deburring tool around this edge just to take the raft off. This is probably the best 3D print I've ever got on any printer. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll help you out. Thanks for watching.